Alright guys, today we're going to be working in our math book on page 4. Now remember your math book is the book with the colored pages. We're going to be working on one-to-one -one correspondence. So we're going to be matching our objects to the numbers. So we're going to be making sure that we count in order and that we have as many objects as we do numbers. So if we have more objects, we're going to have more numbers. If we have less objects, we're going to have less numbers. We're going to be counting in order so we won't be skipping around. So we're going to be making sure that we count 1, 2, 3, and not 3, 2, or not 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1. We're going to be putting everything in order. On our page 4, we see pictures of soccer balls. And we're going to be making sure that we're drawing a line from each soccer ball to the number it represents. So one to one. So I have one soccer ball here. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw my line from one soccer ball to the number one. Because one soccer ball matches with one. One to one. I have another soccer ball. So my next number I'm going to match it to is the number 2 because 2 goes to 2. 1 to 1, 2 to 2. One soccer ball, number 1. Two soccer ball, number 2. I don't have a third or fourth soccer ball, so I'm just going to leave those spaces blank. But what I am going to do is I'm going to circle the number that tells how many objects. So how many soccer balls did I have in all? I had two soccer balls, so I'm going to circle my number two, just like this. I know once you draw your line from your soccer balls to the numbers, you're going to think you're done, but it's really important that you circle how many soccer balls you had in all, so you can tell me how many objects we have. On this next section right here with the girls, we're going to be doing the same thing. So we're going to draw a line from each girl to a number to help us know how many girls there are. So I'm going to start with this girl right here. So she is my number one, number one to number one, one to one. Why do you think drawing lines helps us? And if I just think drawing lines helps us because it helps recognize that we are connected, that the numbers are connected to each girl. So we're staying in order. I'm not getting out of order. One to one. This little girl is not going to the number three because she is my number two. One to one, two to two. So I would draw my line from this girl to the number two. Next, I'm going to look at this girl, and she is one, two, three. So I'm going to draw her to the number three. I wouldn't draw this girl to the number two because she isn't my number two. She is one, two, three. So she goes to the number three. So we would make sure that we wouldn't want to draw her. To the number two. After we draw her to the number three, we are out of girls. So nobody should, there should not be a line to the number four. So in the end, I want to count one, two, three. And so I have three girls, so I would circle my number three. The last thing I want to talk about is that when we are drawing these lines, you are matching them. First to first, second to second, third to third. I would not take this girl and draw her here as my number one. Okay? She would not be going there. This girl would not be going there. Even though she could be first, we're going one to one, two to two, three to three. Okay? Please keep that in mind. We want everyone, we're matching one-to-one -one correspondence. So when you are finished, 
your paper should look just like this. And then you should be done with page four in your workbook. And the next thing you're going to do for your math slides is page six in your workbook all on your own.